Okay, look at my friends. I'm packed up. Uh, guess what? Yeah, I'm packed up. We're leaving. We're back to van life. So, yeah, sorry to tell you that, but uh, I have one other thing to tell you. Psych! No, it's not gonna happen at this time. <laughs> Might happen at another time, but not today. I hate to say it, but our, I shouldn't say our, I should say Korean girls, rental girl is leaving us uh, five months. That's all she stayed, so too bad. I really liked her. She was quiet and really nice and kind of started to feel like a family member or a sister type of thing. So, uh, but yeah, she wants to move in with a friend. Uh, she's going to save on rent, but... Um, She's going to lose on a lot of other things. So I think Sherry's going to... Uh, seven. Trying to figure out the price. She'll save 250 on rent. But my understanding is it's a farther to go to work. Uh, no access to um, a few things. And she just found out... Uh, I guess, sorry, no access to shopping and that. It's not close by here. I can walk in five minutes and go anywhere. Groceries, um, buy items, you know, all that crap. And uh, the other thing is, she just found out she has to pay utilities on top of her rent. So basically, she's probably going to work out paying similar. And um, she, she's sharing the place. That's the other thing. It's a one-bedroom shared. This one, she... Well, she shares with us, I guess. But she has her own separate washroom here. She has her own... And there, she'd have to share the washroom. And she just found out that a roommate has changed her mind and has decided not to take the place. <laughs> so now she has to play full rent, which is uh, almost double what she's paying here and then she, so that leaves her with finding another renter so anyhow I'm doing a lot of blah blah but I guess because I'm kind of sad so that she's going but we have a new guy coming so that'll be interesting and we'll go into that another day so on with the video Alright, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, happy, what day is it? Wednesday, September 30th, end of the month, and uh, you know, I wish I could do the YouTube live video streaming, however, I do not meet their qualifications, so sucks to me, be me. You have to have over 1,000 subscribers, and I'm 150 short. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm not a fan over, overly of uh, doing the live stream, but you know what, once in a while, I think it'd be cool to do a five, ten minute deal. You know, I could go to, I could do it right on the train, or if I was in a coffee, hanging out with a few friends, or you know what, band meetups, going to some of the band dwelling meetups, just do a live stream. You know, 10, 15 minutes, introduce you to people, stuff like that. So, anyhow, we'll go home and uh, finish things off there. How's that? Okay, you want to know something? See this little square, that little spot right there? Whoops. Right there, to the edge. That way. That is $40,000 to purchase a parking spot over and above your condo house prices. So... And uh, Korean girl's not here. She's uh, gone uh, this morning. Uh, I think she's sleeping at her daughter's and son's. Look at this. Uh, I've got a video coming up on that. Anyhow, uh, yeah, that's what it costs. You know what? You're better off spending five grand on a van and keeping the 35000 You could live for two years on that almost rather than having a parking spot. Unfreaking real. Okay, let's go upstairs. Okay, unless her daughter's got the car. Uh, daughter's not locked as usual. Oh. No, somebody's here. I gotta be quiet. I can't continue. Yep, she's sleeping. Shh. Okay, I didn't want to wake up uh, Sleeping Beauty there, so 
I gotta take the garbage out anyway, so let's uh, walk and talk. Anyhow, what I wanted to... Ah, of course I broke the garbage bag. It's not going good. Anyhow, what I wanted to talk about was a couple things was... Number one was uh, Elvis Travels. I don't know if you've watched that channel or know of his channel, but uh, a couple of weeks back he was banned from YouTube. Open. I can't do two things at once. So yeah, anyways, he came back, banned from YouTube, ended up coming back on, I don't know when, maybe two weeks ago or so, and I guess he was banned again for whatever reason. I don't know what it is and I'm not going to go into any details or put him down. But it's kind of funny. This is not going well. Let me come back. Yeah, okay, now I'm just tired of something. and smell like garbage. Anyhow, yes, he was banned from YouTube for violations of whatever policies, YouTube policies. So he came back a second time and I went to watch a video last night. And you know what, he, he was back up. I was able to get into some of his videos and I was going to watch one and right in the middle of it, the, yeah, that's it, banned his channel again. So I was just about to watch out of curiosity one of his videos. He's not the kind of person I usually watch, but you know what, he's commented on my videos a few times, so I thought, hell, I'll see what he's got going on. So. Uh, I've never had a copyright strike or anything like that, or a music violation. Uh, I've been lucky, so I've been okay in four years or so since I've been doing this. Anyhow, yeah. And lastly, I just want to bring up Just Incredible YouTube channel. He's from here in Vancouver, met him quite a couple times, went to his van life meetups. And he's going through a deal right now. His mom is not doing well on palliative care and pretty much done for, I guess. He's staying at her condo, I guess, or apartment right now, but he doesn't want to stay there. Once he works things out, he's going back to van life or step van life, so good for him. And you know what, I think all of us need a break sooner or later from van life. I don't think everybody seems to take a break once in a while. Especially right now with Corona, there's a lot of people seeming to take a break, so. And I got one more thing on that, hold on. So i uh, wash that garbage off now. So lastly, I just wanna say, I know what he's going through in my own terms or in my own way, and that is, it's not an easy thing. I been with family three times now when they've died and passed away and I've been in the same room and it's an unbelievable really freaky experience it's really hard to describe uh, the biggest one that comes to mind is when my grandfather died and when he was passing away I was holding his hands my family said yeah yeah hold his hand hold his hand just be there for him and uh, I remember the look in his eyes still, clear as a bell, as he was dying. And uh, he knew he was going. And, uh, yeah, scared, scared, terrified. It's, it's, we know, I guess, that we're going. And uh, he, at the beginning, he's like, got that help me look, what's happening, what's happening? And then once he accepted it, he just kind of, yeah. He settled down a bit. I said, "That's okay, Grandpa. That's okay. You're, you're gonna be all right. You're, you know, you're going to a good place." So yeah. So for just incredible, I hope his experience is, is as good as mine was, where you're there for somebody when they are passing away, where that person, your family, your mother, your father, your grandfather, whoever it is, is not dying alone. And that's the thing with this coronavirus. A lot of people are dying alone. They have no one. So you got to be grateful for those experiences like this where we can be there for each other. And uh, in saying that, we'll end that and 
thank you guys for being there and watching me and listening to me. So, so stay awesome, guys. Be awesome. Be well and be safe. So, yeah. Cheers. Have a good one. Hey, end of the month. We're starting a new month. Actually, it's all, it's fall. It's almost Christmas coming and Halloween. Holy shit. I hope this year, next year changes for the better. And I'm sure you guys do too. Okay, blah, blah, blah. See ya. Cheers.